So I get a lot of emails asking how can I save an image from Cricut Design Space and either email it to myself or save it so that I can email it to someone else or use it on another software program or just save it in my files on my computer. Um, we used to be able to do the cut and save or you know control copy and things like that. No longer the case, but I have a workaround for you on your PC, so stay tuned. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, I'm Arlene Gonzalez Pagan, a crafty Latina. This channel is all about teaching you tips and tricks so that you can use your Cricut to its greatest potential and also so that you can achieve your crafting goals. Make sure to hit subscribe at the bottom so that you don't miss future tutorials. Let's get started. So let's just bring in some image that I had uploaded. So this is my little avatar from my iPhone. Um, and if you haven't seen that, I did actually uh, stickers from that. There we go. Uh, at some point it will show up. Here it is. Okay, so for Windows, I'm using my Surface Pro to do this. So it is a Windows operating system. And what I use is the snipping tool. So you see these little scissors down here, this little tool here, it's called snipping tool. And how you find that is I just on my toolbar at the bottom here, I just type snipping tool and you'll see it. It's like a little, it's a little app and all you have to do is click on it and open it. Um, and then save it down to your toolbar here. So it's always active. Once you put it down here, it's always active. I don't have to do anything else. So how it works is you hit your little, your windows key. So if you look on your keyboard on your laptop, it's a key that actually, mine is on the bottom like between the function and the alt key. And it's actually the little windows symbol key with the four little squares on it. You hold down that key, your shift key at the same time and the letter S and the snippet when snipping window will come up. So you'll see this up here. And this is if you want to snip as a rectangle, this is free form and so on. You can play with all of these. I normally just use the first one, to, which is a rectangle. So it turns my cursor into like this little crosshair um, X and I just grab right around the image that I want. So once that's done, it automatically saves a copy um, onto my desk. It sort of holds it into um, until I'm ready to use it. So I like putting um, my images on PowerPoint. So I just have my PowerPoint already open only because it's easier for me. And here you can use the normal keys you normally would use. So your control V for pasting would work. If you want to right click and paste it as the image, that will also work. Um, so you will bring it in like you normally would any other image. Um, just know as you saw this over this one, this is the background is no longer transparent. So let me show you how to do that. You come up to the top here under color if you're using PowerPoint and then you'll just slide all the way to the bottom, the little thing that says set transparent color and you just click on the background and now it's a transparent color. Now to save this onto your computer, let me just delete this one so we don't get confused. Now to save this one, you right click on your computer Sorry, you right click on your mouse and you hit save as picture and then you put it wherever it is. It's just trying to connect to my external hard drive and you name it whatever you want. Save it as a PNG and when you save it as a PNG, that means the um, background will be transparent. Um, so I would just save it there and just save it as me with hard eyes. Actually, I'm going to save it up to the top of my um, desktop so it's easier for me to find. Okay, so let's delete this and just to show you where it's at, you want to in so you want to use it. I want to insert it back into here. I'm going to insert it from this device. Let me go to my desktop, which is where I saved it, and it's me with hard eyes, and there it is. And there's your image, and then you insert it back in, and it's. And that's it. It's pretty simple. So I'm not a Mac user, but I did some research and there is um, a comparable tool that's called Grab on the Mac. So I think the instructions that I was given was you go under Finder, Applications, Utilities, and then you'll see something called Grab. And that's the equivalent of the snipping tool um, for Windows. So 
that's it guys i just wanted to give you this quick tip now you can have this image you know if you if you're like me that i like to yes i know my images are in design space but if something happens in design space and i need an image i have my backup in my own system that i can use another program to edit and to you know continue doing the project that i need to do so it's just it's all about options and i'm here to you know to make sure that you have those options so um, hit like if you found value and if this is a great tip for you, um, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss future tutorials. And again, this is Arlene from A Crafty Latina. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will be back, um, soon with another video. Have a great day.